Hello everyone and welcome to Python for MATLAB coders part 2 loops and conditions. So in this video I'm trying to uh, show you how to translate a piece of MATLAB code into Python. In the previous video I have talked about variables and arrays and in today's video I'm going to talk about um, loops and conditions. So here I have created a MATLAB file with seven different sections with different types of problems and uh, basically we want to translate this code on the left into a python code on the right let's start with a for loop so you know that if we write for loops then we want to repeat an operation for certain um, amount of time so here we want to start from one to five increase the value of i one unit every time and then print the value so if i run this piece of code you can see that it will print one to five if i want to have the same functionality inside python uh, i can start with uh, typing for i in range one to six so one difference here is that we need to add another integer to the end of our range because Python does not include the value at the end of the range. So instead of typing range 1 and 5, we type in Python 1 and 6. So we would have the same effect in Python. And then we need to indent our code a little bit using space or tab. Tab is preferred because it will make a more clear and visible structure for your code. And then you can uh, write the code you want so here we have print uh, which basically says that just uh, print this value uh, and then increase the value inside the next loop uh, so if i run this part of the code here in python you can see it does the same job is it prints from one to five for me so let's go to the uh, second part of the code here in matlab as you can see here I have a loop and uh, it starts from 1 to 5 but this time instead of a for loop we are writing a while loop we usually do that when we do not know exactly how many times we are gonna repeat uh, that operation uh, so we usually do that but this time we basically know that it will be 5 times but uh, even if we didn't know we can use while loop the only difference is that we need to um, assign the value before starting the loop and then we need to increase the number every time inside the loop so the loop would come to an end eventually if i run this piece of code in matlab here you can see that it does the same job it basically prints one to five if I want to have the same functionality inside Python, again, I can use while loop in a similar manner in Python. Uh, so I need to initialize the value of the counter and then I say while i is smaller and equal to 5, then uh, print i, which is a very simple code as you can see. Uh, one difference uh, between the MATLAB and Python version is that in MATLAB we need to close a block with end but in Python because we do this indentation at the beginning of the code we do not need to basically uh, close the line or close the block with any other command so we are implicitly telling the um, IDE that this is the end of the loop so let's go to the third part and here uh, we have this for loop but the difference is that inside this for loop we have an if condition so uh, in this condition we are saying that if the value of i is equal to 3 uh, break this for loop so it means that it will comes out of the uh, loop if we run this part of the code so as you can see here we are just printing one to three this happens because when the loop comes to three 
it just breaks out and it comes out of the loop. So if you want to have the same uh, functionality inside Python, we can uh, simply use a for loop here from one to six, as you have seen here and above, and then we print the value and we can call if function again in Python uh, the only difference is that we need to add a colon at the end of the command. So if i is equal to 3 and then column, and then we can call break. But the thing is that if you have noticed here, we have a dual indent at the beginning of the break because this is basically another block of command inside a larger uh, block of command. So uh, as you can see here in MATLAB, we can close that block using an end function or end uh, word, but here in Python, we do not have that luxury and we need to take care of the indentation of the code. That might be a little annoying when you um, start coding with Python, but you will gradually get used to it. And, you know, at the end of the day, you might also be happy that you do not need to type any extra word when you want to close the block. So let's go to the other part here in part four, we want to do the same thing, but this time we want to use continue. What does continue do in um, MATLAB? So when you reach continue, it means that uh, the program just uh, skips that iteration and goes to the next iteration. So if I run this uh, part of the code, you can see that it prints one, two, and it, it, it skips three and then goes to uh, four and five. This happens because when the program reached three, it, it is uh, executing this continue function or this continue command that tells it to skip this loop, skip this iteration and go to the next iteration. So basically, the program is not able to see this line, which is displaying the value of the integer. Uh, consequently, at the end, you can see that we have not printed the value of three. So if we want to have the same stuff here in Python, uh, we again write a for loop, and then uh, inside the for loop, we add an if condition, and then we do the same thing as you can see here we have the same uh, almost syntax continue is here continue the same syntax and the only difference is this uh, columns at the end of the um, lines so let's go to the next part here on on part five uh, we want to do almost the same job but uh, the only difference is that uh, our if condition have two parts so we want to say if the value of i is equal to 3 and is smaller than 4, then continue. It means then skip this uh, iteration. If I run this part of the code, you can see that it prints uh, 1, 2, 4, and 5. So as you can see, the program checks that both of these conditions be true to uh, run the continue command. So, and here at the middle of these two conditions, it means that the both conditions should be true at the same time. So the program will run the code that uh, exists inside that block, which here is continue. So if you want to have the same functionality inside uh, Python, again, we write the simple stuff like uh, making the loop and then instead of uh, um, putting two ampersands uh, here we are using and literal word so that would uh, make the coding much more easier so we can say if i is equal to three and i is smaller than four then continue that's it so we have uh, translated this part of the code here into Python. You can see that the Python codes are somehow shorter and that would be a good thing if you want to write very long codes. So here in part six, we want to 
do almost the same job but here instead of and we want to work on or condition so here we are saying that if uh, the value of i is equal to 3 or is equal to 4 then continue which means then skip this iteration if i run this part of the code you can see that it prints 1 2 and 5 because it is skipping i equal to 3 and i equal to 4 and this is this is the application of or so uh, even if one of these conditions be true it will execute continue command so if you want to have the same functionality inside python uh yeah this belongs to the a previous section uh we need to uh write a loop here as you can see and then we can literally call or or as a command in python that indicates the or condition and then we do the same job like continue and then print and anything would be almost the same and at the last part we want to uh, do the same thing but here we want to use the command not so uh, here if i run this part of the code you can see that we are not printing the value of three this part of the code means if i is not equal to three then uh display the value of i so it will skip basically it skips the value of three if i want to have the same stuff in python uh, i need to again create that loop and then i can use uh exclamation mark uh, and then equal to three so this means if i is not equal to three and then we can print the value okay that was it uh, we have talked about how to uh, translate a part of a matlab code into python and um, i hope that it has been useful for you thank you very much for watching and see you in the next session bye